Future Palace dropped their new album, Distortion. Um, we have an interview dropping with Maria. Uh, this this review will come out before that. Um, yes. So the interview comes out on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Thursday the 12th, if you're watching this after Thursday the 12th, it's down in the description of the clip. If you're watching the real long video, I'm sorry. You have to go to our channel and find it. Um, yeah. But great time chatting with Maria, getting into mm-hmm. the nitty gritty on the record, hearing about, mm-hmm. quite frankly, how chaotic the entire experience was. I was watching. Shit show. Yeah, I was watching back a good chunk of the interview because mm-hmm. it was recorded so long ago. I'm like, mm-hmm. I keep notes, but I got to refresh my memory because I, ha- I actually missed. I, I actually had a couple of things that I didn't write down that that I had to, um, you know, remove yeah. when I completely forgot my follow up question. And I didn't make a note to make sure to cut that out. You know, things things like that. Shit like um, that. You know, <laughs> just girly things, yeah. right? Um, but yeah, so I, I was like, holy shit, the the process for this is crazy. But you know, we'll let we'll let Maria discuss that. Um yeah. the album, bro, all mm-hmm. killer, no filler. Damn right. I was thinking the exact same thing while just listening through it for, you know, a couple times today. Holy shit. It's just go, 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 go all wonderfully produced crisp as shit sounds incredible just everything about it it's just a really good album yeah absolutely um i there there is no quote unquote like slow moment in the album like mm-hmm. really if you want to get nitpicky dream state just because it's a little bit more of a, a vibey moment on mm-hmm. the record but mm-hmm. Other than that, like it just uncontrolled opens this record up and it just rips, especially yeah. like the beginning is it's it's front loaded with the singles. Um, mm-hmm. the, the back half is is where most of the the non singles are. And yeah. um, it's just or it's actually all non singles uh, after Decarabia. Um, mm-hmm. But it's it, it's front loaded. But it it just flows so well because it just it doesn't matter. It's just boom punches you in the face and you just get going. Um, yeah, Malfas is one of my favorite uh, singles off mm-hmm. of, or one of my favorite songs off the record. I thought that that song was fucking incredible when it was released as a single, and, and you know, in the interview we discussed, it was meant to kind of be an in between track because they were doing a bunch of crazy touring opening for Electric Callboy at the time. Um, uh, the Echoes of Disparity is another crazy ass song because you've got Charlie from As Everything Unfolds on there. Insane. Um, yeah. And I'm also a big fan of Decarabia. Um, That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. it's a great like middle point on the record mm-hmm. too. Um, because then obviously it flips into the songs that uh, people are a little less familiar with. Um, mm-hmm. but overall incredible record also really like amethyst i think it's a great closer they take what they want i could sit here and name every single song because as i said to open this it's all killer no filler it just straight up rips it's it's got to be one of the uh one of the better metalcore records i've heard this year um because it just fucking it just rips straight through um you know really really stoked to see another record from them so soon because the last one was only a couple years ago and uh you know hoping that this one catches more people's attention because i need Please. this band performing here in the u.s like yesterday yes absolutely i feel like i was just nodding my head that entire review because everything you were saying i completely agree with because yeah. they're fucking crazy the track listing is great as you said it is front loaded but damn it fucking tosses you into the record um Decoravia is also my favorite of mm-hmm. all time i love how fucking feels like you're slow dancing and it's like i mean i'm pretty sure that's a lyric in it or we're dancing to yeah i'm i'm like 90 percent sure um it's fucking crazy the record is incredible vocals are insane mm-hmm. um everything about the record you got to check it out if you haven't already yeah highly mm-hmm. highly highly recommend this one been a big fan of this band for a while stoked oh, yeah. for more and hoping to see them over here damn right oh, damn yeah. right 